So to start it off, we got news about the mobile viewer. The project remains in private alpha, as most of you know, and development is continuing. Uh, for one, we have added the ability to stream audio to the mobile viewer, which is awesome. To enable that in the mobile viewer, go to the hamburger menu. It's the line of stripes in the upper right corner that you're familiar with if you're ever on mobile apps. Then go to settings, and then developer tools, and enable streaming audio. Yeah, been hard at work pumping out the new features to the uh, mobile viewer. Also added is the uh, number of user interface improvements, including the ability to start a chat from any chat screen and being able to see how many people are nearby using the nearby chat window. Coming up will be some other much requested additions, including work on the way for avatars that are displayed, including skeleton deformers and teleport improvements. So if you happen to be a Premium Plus member and want to try out the mobile viewer, go ahead and follow this page for more information. Stream audio. And yeah, text chat, not voice yet. It'll be coming, I'm sure. Uh, Adam, you, you kind of know we don't touch on anything governance here. Um, if it's a very simple question, I think, you know, maybe we'll allow it. But um, yeah, anything, you, you kind of know how it goes. I'll just put it that way. Send that's uh, things like uh, skeletal deformers. Uh, a lot of uh, different bodies and shapes use uh, skeletal deformers to produce the correct shape for the beings, and that'll soon, with it, with of course our traditional trademark, be working on the mobile viewer. And yes, I suspect so, Key. I'm going to go ahead and jump on in here because I always like talking Linden Homes. Um, we are continuing to add Linden Homes across Belisaria, uh, most notably the 2048 meter ranch and Mediterranean styles. Uh, we just opened up a couple more of those uh, yesterday, another one today, and we'll have more coming down the line. Uh, we're trying to put in as more as soon as we can uh, to keep up with demand. Uh, we've also expanded some of the railway through the area, um, working on some additional waterways and homes along waterways. Um, so, I mean, uh, if you're looking for a Linden home, uh, of course, please feel free to check out the recently updated Linden Home Selector, which is at this URL here. And you can also see a preview of all of the Belisaria Linden Home styles at the Belly Demo region. Um, so please feel free to check those out if you're interested in Linden Homes, want to know more about them. Um, that's a good place to start. Sorry, Sin, I saw you've been head padded 23,000 times. I had to get on that list. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, Chez.
Wendy, what are the plans for the old uh, Linden homes? Because they're still out there and, and I'm sure people still have ownership of them. But is there any plans to uh, move those people to Bellis area and, and clean that up, do something with that land? Well, let me, I'll touch on that. And also I want to talk about Pantera. You asked about the connection possibility there. Um, there are plans eventually to uh, perhaps sunset the Nascara homes, um, but there aren't any plans right now for that. I mean, we've talked about that since Belisaria launched, that eventually we will probably, you know, send those away. Um, but people are still using, there are people that still get some of the uh, first generation Linden homes uh, on the regular. So for now, um, they remain. Um, like I said, eventually that'll change, but we don't want to stand in the way of anyone having the home that they want, um, you know, is what it comes down to. And as far as connecting to the mainland up there, I really, I really couldn't say, but I'm not going to say no. Um, it is a possibility. It's something we may be looking at. Uh oh, Wendy just said yes. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. Not going to get in trouble. <laughs> but it is definitely a possibility. Oh, yes, indeed, Pantera. I know that connecting to the mainland uh, through Belisaria is a big deal. Um, I know that uh, when we opened up uh, first the initial connections into there and then um, being able to get from uh, one continental mass over to the other through Belisaria, um, I think we've got a couple connections through there now, um, is a very big deal, especially for some of the pilots and sailors of our world who really love being able to do that now. So I, I certainly hope that we'll be able to do more things like that. I think it also just brings them inland and the Lindenholm uh, areas closer together. So there's not so much as like a barrier. Well, I'm in the Lindenholm community and then the mainland is over there. So I'll just have to teleport. Having that physical connection, I, I think really, um, raises the immersion factor between both. Oh, I, abs I absolutely agree. I mean, um, I was actually giving a talk yesterday for um, a number of Lindens about the mainland. And one of the things I was discussing in it was the uh, our, how the mainland is a contiguous space where we can all, it had nothing to do with it indeed, uh, where you can travel from place to place um, and I think that that's something that you do see reflected yet with Belisaria, um, you know, even all these years later, um, the ability to travel and fly and walk and do all these sorts of things to go between places is really one of the things that makes Second Life very special in my eyes. Yeah, right, horses. I think that does make Bellis area really special. I know that when I had the deck, I used to have a, a person that used to teleport in and she used to jog around my region every morning before she went to work in her real life in a city environment. She used to like the, the illusion that she was jogging by the seashore. And uh, I think that that- That is might... awesome. Yeah, so Bellis area is that on steroids. It gives somebody the chance to feel a little bit more centered, grounded, whatever you want to have and and really feel that immersion. 
Exactly. And I think that's also one of the the big differences between um, the first generation Linden homes and the current, I mean, aside from you know, the way they're built and so forth and the options, is that with the original ones, there's not really a lot of kind of paths and connection, not only region to region, but even home to home. Um, and Belisari instead gives kind of that opportunity to walk down the road, get to know your neighbors, get to, you know, run a train, do all these kind of things. Um, it really kind of opens it up and makes it a, a place rather than a thing, which I think is key. I think that's a great thing. I'm not really sure. It makes sense that this is your purview, but the map, world map, is that your area as well? Sorry, sort of. troubleshooting? Yeah, sort of. No, as, as far as I, I never really, I mean, obviously I'm an adult and obviously I have adult activated because a lot of, you know, have, when I have to go and inspect stores and things like that, I need to be able to go to every location. Mm -hmm. And, um, so I, I I'd never really thought about it before until yesterday when I went to go somewhere and I was using links outside of SL so it was opening map for me to teleport and I was seeing right. a lot of adult kind of big words across regions kind of you know they've got things in the sky so that they show up on the map and I advertisements realized, and stuff yeah and i realized and nothing was graphic i just mean words right like like saying you know rov sex read whatever um but i realized that that shows even if you don't have adult checked and that seemed weird yeah, you know, that's a good call. Um, obviously, those are only going to be allowed over the Zindra regions, but who knows? Maybe that should be something we should look at because you're right. That should probably be general weighted, and that's a good point. Right, just the idea of whatever you choose is the only regions you'll see. It can also avoid mm -hmm. confusion um, to to what's actually going on there because I noticed that a lot of new residents as well get really upset that they can't visit some regions and sometimes it is the adult settings like it is that they just haven't done that yet uh sometimes it's age restrictions because they're not 30 days old yet either uh but yeah i just i i feel that if you can see things that you actually just don't want to see that you shouldn't see them in other areas so but i'd bring that up Yeah, it's a good point. I'm going to bounce that back, uh, see what we can do about that. Who knows? Never hurts to poke at it. So I'll go ahead and move on to the uh, next topic. And this is a new one. I'm sure a lot of you are going to be excited to hear it. And it's going to involve the mesh download impact. So one thing we hope a lot of people will be excited um, when we're talking about PRIMs and how they're uh, allotted uh, in a region or parcel capacity uh, is the download weight of objects. And that's something that we've been working on. So we've made a change to how weight is calculated, uh, which should lead to a 15% reduction in the overall land impact of many objects. So while this will not affect animish objects specifically, this should allow you to put more prims on your land uh, and then enjoy more. That is something in the works. And uh, as we have more information, we'll definitely be sharing it. And once we get the details, we'll share how it's going to look in the viewer if counters are changed or anything like that. So more to come. Yeah, I'm certain no one's going to be upset with that. No, please, More prints, nah. <laughs> so that will that will also mean like if you've if you've made something that's one point two land impact that'll it'll probably just drop to one or you know that will yeah give or take that out. 
Yeah. Yep. Oh, I'm so grateful because right. I actually make lower loads and it's killing me. Yeah. Well, so more, this is more loads, of a teaser. But it might not <laughs> hurt as much. Yeah. I wish we had more details, but uh, more of a teaser. That's something that's coming around the bend. So that'll definitely be a, a future topic here. Just to be absolutely clear, will that affect older content or only new uploads? It's it's a new, um, how do I want to put it? It's it's going to affect everything um, because it's it's new calculation behind the scenes rather than being specific to things when they're uploaded. Right. So it's just going to knock fifteen percent off everything. Yeah. yeah so things are placed down. New things are coming down. That's wonderful. That's yeah. So the exciting. core calculation is being adjusted. I'd like to jump in with another thing that's that's in the works that's coming up, um, which will be primarily of interest to estate owners. Um, uh, that'll be the ability to schedule region restarts for your private estates. Um, while most regions really do not need more than a, like a weekly restart, uh, you can have some high traffic locations, you know, uh, events and so forth. Um, that uh, could benefit probably from a more frequent schedule. Yeah, hair fair, et cetera. Um, the Relay for Life, uh, Fantasy Fair, Burn, so forth. Um, you, know, you might want to have a, a more re frequent schedule, maybe have it restart every day at 6 a.m. or something. Um, this will allow you to be, be able to do an automatic restart from the region console in your region uh, under the region estate debug menu. Um, so that'll be that'll be a good benefit for those that um, have a region they want to do that with. You know, always helpful. I mean, even even a good sized club could could benefit from that. Most definitely. But um, one of the things that I usually do with hair fair is I stagger them because I I usually do a message over the region that says everybody quickly run to the other one <laughs> so, so that they get a chance to move and then I restart one and then I do the next and then I do the next but I wait till the one comes back before I do it that kind of thing mm -hmm. is it possible when you're scheduling the restarts that you could also schedule a message because that would be amazing to be able to have right messages now I think it's just the restart. Oh, yeah. I don't yeah, see it. I think you, field. the yeah. only one we have yeah. is the, 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 the yellow restart window that comes up. Yeah, Celestial, um, this doesn't affect rolling series? restarts. What was that, Sassy? Sorry, I, I, I didn't mean to talk over you. I was just going to say, is that something that maybe could be considered too, is giving people the ability to have a message on their region at certain times of the day that could just in the case of the region's about to restart, everybody please move. You don't actually have to be there to relay that message, but that could also actually be quite a good tool overall. It could de-script because people don't need to have uh, uh, things shouting out messages and all. They could just have, uh, you know, every hour a message go out over an estate. Well, this sounds like like Vix is going to know exactly what I'm going to say to this. <laughs> and I am going to say that that is actually a really cool idea, and I like that a lot. Um, and because of that, I'm going to recommend that you put it at feedback.secondlife.com so that our devs okay, can see yep. that. Because I like that. I like that a lot. And as an aside, also with the uh, being able to schedule a restart, one of the things that you mentioned, which reminded me, um, is that uh, the schedules would be per region. So you would be able to say you're scheduling one at, you know, 6 a.m. on brunette and, you know, 6.15 on blonde and so forth, rather than it being restarting the entire estate all at a specific time. So you'd still have the ability to kind of bounce to different different places like what you do.
Having trouble with it, Adam? Anything we can uh, help with? Unsubscribe from Kenny emails? Like something that you're watching? So we can move on to the uh, next topic. And it has to do with physically based rendering or PBR. And how many people would like to see mirrors in Second Life? Like actual mirrors, like you walk in front of a prim and you see yourself. Yes. That was my reaction when uh, QA showed me uh, a test one was I see myself in this prim. <laughs> Mirrors are coming. As well as the ability to use PBR on terrain, which is going to add additional immersion factor. So these two features are available in the uh, testing grid or DT. I'll go ahead and fish out the viewer version that we just released for this one here. Let me find it. So you can read about more of the details. So we go ahead and list the regions on a DT uh, where the code is enabled that you can test uh, the mirrors. That's going to be Rumpus Room 2048, 49. 50 and 51. Yep, yeah, they look amazing. They take a few minutes of uh, playing around, uh, building a prim, building a second prim that will become the reflection, putting them together and expanding. And then you see yourself, <laughs> which is going to be, it, it's, uh, it's definitely needed. The minute PBR came out and you saw a chromatic reflection, the next thing was, when do I get to see myself? brought this up in the content creators meeting before um, was asking that they put out some kind of a, a blog post um, about them coming soon and, and things like that because there seems to be a lot of confusion about reflection probes being mirrors already. People are releasing mirrors and talking about using mirrors and making mirrors but not aware that mirrors actually aren't live yet. And we was, I was requesting that if you did a blog post or something about it coming, it might retrain some of the thoughts on that. Yeah, I'm not familiar with that conversation, Sassy, um, but was, I was able to test some of the mirrors. And um, these are authentic as far as once you build it, you can walk in front of it. 
you can expand the size to include not just yourself but others. Um, it you know obviously attracts movement, so it, it's a realistic mirror um, that once you put yourself in front of, it's yeah, it's really nice. And also to top it off, um, we are increasing the size of texture, so we will have the ability to upload 2K textures. That is a 2048 by 2048 texture size. Those are also coming. Right now, they're available on the testing grid set. So if you open the uh, release a link I just put up, um, the release notes ending in uh, 680, uh, we detail more of this there. When it's going to hit the ma uh, main grid, no ETA yet. It's still very much in the testing phase. But you can go right now. When we're done here, sign out, sign into the beta grid, specify one of the rumpus rooms. We don't have a step-by-step -step available here. Hopefully we can uh, roll that out pretty soon as far as testing it yourself. In fact, I'll ask if there's a way we can uh, relay some of the information. Maybe we can see it in a blog post. Well, maybe not a blog post, maybe a community post somewhere for those who want the step-by-step on how to create a mirror. Yes, Sassy, the uh, days do end with Ys, so they are a bit of chaos on the rumpus rooms. <laughs> I went and my draw distance was way up and I just like froze. I couldn't move and I realized, yeah, I'm loading way too much. I don't have any information yet on um, when PBR terrain is going to hit the mainland. But as we get closer, uh, I'm sure that will be uh, a discussion. I can say a couple of things on that. Um, oh, you have something? Go for it. I do. Um, uh, it will initially roll out um, on the on estates only. It will not be on mainland, at least at first. Uh, we'll obviously be working out what we may be doing on that. Um, but I don't have any information on that yet. But it's, it's going to be on estates first as far as the PBR terrain. Um, we'll see what happens. I'm personally pushing for more on the mainland, so we'll see. That's a good question, Sen. I'm actually going to copy that and see if I can poke around. And that would be a topic for our April meeting, if I get an answer. I believe it's specific to the terrain mesh itself, Pantera. There are other tools for changing the uh, water under the uh, EAP settings. Hey, Kima, uh, no information on if we're going to uh, roll out another grandfathered uh, program uh, for those who are around the buy down, region buy down, I think was the most recent, even though that was years ago. Yeah, no information on that, fortunately. Yeah, I think the, the what you heard before is still the case. Um, you know, not ruled out, but no plans at current. Um, send, it's hard to say on that because uh, we're still very early on doing things with the Convey bots, um, which I would add, um, 
Darcy's Clubhouse region um, is a great place to see what we're first doing with them, uh, to try them out and see what uh, what you think of them. Um, but it's still too early, really, to say what what's next for them as we try to explore how they'll work with us and, and what we want to do with them. Um, they're exciting. Um, I hope that uh, we're able to find some great uses for them. But I really couldn't say at this point how that's going to work for, you know, we'll have people be able to have those. If it's just going to be us, how that's going to work, how that's all going to play out. That's still, there's a lot of question marks there. So it's hard to say. I read a little wondering... bit about, oh, go ahead, Sassy. Go for it. No, it's fine. Go. Uh, I read a little bit about the Con AI, uh, AI bots, um, the company, and their purpose. And uh, they're targeting, uh, for anyone familiar, you know, with games like maybe Skyrim or Cyberpunk, where there's NPCs that talk. Uh, it's a very static way in which they talk. And there's, although you might have uh, multiple questions to throw at them, they're pretty much all scripted in the replies. Um, so their their purpose is actually going to be um, once it's executed, it would be very, very organic, and the immersion factor would just increase um, if you're able to have almost real conversations. Oh, you know, it's all AI, but have real conversations with NPCs. I, I think that part was particularly exciting to hear about. I um, made a bet in the uh, SL Mentors, Mentors group that what will we see first, uh, the the chat, two chatbots taking over the world or an SL mentor marrying a chatbot by 2026. It was just funny, but <laughs> it could happen. So the floor is open for any questions. Doll, I know that that's something that's been asked for Lots of times, and certainly something that has been looked at. I think that there's uh, there might still be an open um, thing on that on the feedback site. Um, if not, uh, please go ahead and take a look at it and perhaps add um, either to that one or add a new message on that. Um, I know that I personally would love to see that happen. Even the ability to add business partner might even be a good thing too, like a drop down to specify what kind of partner, if it was needed or necessary. Yeah, I agree. Things like um, uh, being able to list a CSR if you open own a store or yeah, partners, especially in uh, polyamorous relationships um, would be great. Um, other, you know, relationships you want to uh, highlight or discuss I think would be good so I mean I agree and I would love to see that and I believe I have seen that in the current feedback system but if not you know please if something you want let us know and let us know there so that our devs get it first And Celestial, uh, we actually did discuss that here a little bit ago um, to an extent. Um, no 
current news specific to the mainland and updating the terrain. Um, there is stuff coming for PBR for estates on terrain. And we will be looking into possibly doing something with it. Um, we'll see. Um, I, I hate to say it this way because I know it sounds very like I'm brushing it off and I'm really not because, frankly, I want that too. Um, but I can't make a promise on it, but never say never. Um, hopefully we'll see something on that. I did want to jump in on uh, one thing also. Um, we touched on it briefly, but I just wanted to, to mention it a little bit further. Um, another thing that's being tested right now on the beta grid is uh, the web RTC voice system, um, which is going to move voice in Second Life to uh, web standards. It can give us some higher quality audio, um, some enhanced security features, uh, maybe some additional voice features that we're unable to provide right now under the current system. Um, and you can actually test that out now. Um, again, that's on the beta grid. Um, there's a development viewer uh, that already has it in it. Uh, let me give you the URL to download that if you want to try that out. And the regions that those are being tested in are WebRTC1 and WebRTC2 on the beta grid. And it's still fairly early, but um, We'd love for you to try it out uh, if you're so inclined. Uh, see how it sounds, see how it works for you. Um, I'm pretty excited by it and see how that works. It could give us a lot more options going down the line of things we can do that we simply can't do now. Um, so it's pretty cool. And um, give you another URL that'll give you a little bit more information on it uh, right there. And yeah, if you have any other questions or things you want to bring up, uh, we're here. We're ready to take your, call. take your calls. Yeah, Mouse, that is still very much a, a manual process, um, something I do part of myself. Um, it tends to be, we, we also have to look at um how how much call there is for some of the parcels in the auctions right now um you know how many do people want to see a day um, how many are going to get bids in a day um so there's a lot of different steps to to play at that could it be automated yeah it might be um we'll see how that goes Catchy tune. <laughs> that was something. I 
Let's go ahead and deactivate that. You're just going to have to finish the rest of the song. <laughs> Ain't it the truth? I've got about 15 um, minutes sorry. left. Sorry, no, I was just going to say, back to the talking about general moderate adult, um, I recently went to a store that was on an adult region and they only had one item in their whole store that could be deemed adult in any way. Um, is there any way that, I mean, I'm not actually sure where on the wiki it would be, but is there any way that it could be hashed out to be a little bit clearer what is acceptable on what regions, uh, especially when it comes to commercial use, because I've seen many times people think that they're supposed to be on moderate, supposed to be on ad adult. I've seen skin stores think that they had to be on adult, where that doesn't even make sense because, you know, trying on a skin demo is not, is not adult behaviour. Um, I can understand that there might be nudity, but if you go into an, a skin store, that that expectation is already there. You're not surprising anybody. So we cannot uh, parse the um, policy on the maturity ratings here. Um, what we can do is basically, I know it probably sounds a little cheesy, but a redirect to our maturity ratings uh, knowledge base, oh, which Wendy already did. <laughs> Up, you're gonna have to be quicker than that, Vix. <laughs> <laughs> have a relook at it, but I was just more wondering who is it that would update that to have more information or clearer information. So a request like that would go to Kenny and uh, by a feature request. If you're looking for okay. more information for that um, because the review team will take a look and see if that's something that can be uh, reviewed or actionable. Right, because it's been a long time sort of since it was implemented and then, you know, the grid's grown again um, in many different directions oh, yeah. from what it was before. So, yeah, it would mean having a relook. Thank you. Absolutely. And send it in. I mean, those are, I think you've had, what, at least two today? That should go in and definitely do so. I know we used to probably sound like a broken record every time we're meeting, we're, we're recommending it. But that is the the channel that we want those ideas uh, to be directed to. And it doesn't matter the scope, whether it's an idea for a new continent or just you know, a little bit more information on a, uh, uh, a guidelines page that would uh, help you out or help out other owners. Pandora, I know that is something that is being looked at. I'm not sure if there's an update on it currently, but I know it is something that has been uh, a thorn in our dev sides and they are working on that. Any other uh, questions or comments? Anything we want to bring up? I can fully admit that I am not a uh, AI bot.
I can also confirm that I am not an AI bot. Oh, wait. No, I didn't. I just say that. Um, <laughs> I have five fingers on each hand. So, With regards to that, I'm not sure if that was actually said <laughs> earlier because I kind of missed it. But with the AI bots that Linden Lab are going to be controlling, will there be some kind of a toggle for region estate owners to actually allow your bots versus not allowing bots? Because I know with the Bonnie bots, I think they were called, um, everybody sort of went a bit mental and banned them all and everything uh, was crazy. If if the AI bots are going to actually help new residents jump around like they did in that video that we've seen so far, uh, they would be slamming into walls where they can't actually go. Uh, so I was just sort of wondering if, if estate owners can have a, a switch. Good question, and one I don't have an answer for just yet, because um, we're still very early in in exploring what what those are going to look like. So that would be a good idea, though. Right, that's in because essentially they'd be Linden Lab in employees <laughs> maybe they just have god powers so i don't know there you go thanks girl would mean that they can't go where bots have been blocked. Right. Yeah, scripted uh, okay. by yeah. falling in that category, they wouldn't, yeah. So they're going to hit a lot of walls trying to get off the welcome hub area if they're trying to uh, access other regions that have blocked them. So yeah, a toggle switch or something there would be great. why we discuss these things so that we can find things like this. Very good feedback. Thank you. We've got a few minutes left. Uh, any other questions before we adjourn to next month? Oh, nice, and you sent that fast. That's one of the things I do love about uh, the canning system is that it is a very quick process. Um, I think it's a little bit quicker than what we used to have under Jira. Jira had a few extra boxes to, to check off, yeah. But I was just a big fan of its organization. Candy's good, too. Yes, like Celestial said, 
Thank you. Every month you guys bring the great questions and the discussions are always amazing. Send if you haven't heard, uh, particularly when you mentioned uh, SEC, uh, anything um, that you would send via SEC, you can go ahead and just drop an email to security at lindenlab.com. Uh, Wendy, do you have any big plans for Belisaria 5th anniversary yourself? Congratulations, by the way, to you all. Do I personally have big plans? Um, so not going to dance for the day? or It could happen. Um, I will probably also have a uh, SSID that day for the folks who collect those. Nice. It's a pretty huge achievement, so well done to the whole land team. Yeah, I think we're all pretty happy with it. And I know that that all y'all residents are extremely appreciative of Belisaria and really make the magic there. That's kind of one of my views on things, by the way, is that we we do provide the space, we provide the land, we provide the infrastructure, but it's all y'all who really make the make the magic that makes the world what it is, that populates it, that creates incredible things, um, that moves us all forward. For oh, sure. I would jump all over that sparkle. I still haven't given up my old Victorian. <laughs> That'd be more of a new question. A three, nice. I refuse to give mine up. Refuse. <laughs> would there ever be a chance of um, an open Bellis area region that would allow the letterboxes to actually have more than one theme like they would still be linden homes but you get to choose which one you want so a trailer could be next to a victorian could be next to a cabin like you know in real life uh, houses all being identical in a street is not really the norm in many countries Hmm, I can imagine that, but I think that would require uh, a lot of heavy lifting as far as changing how the communities are built out. Because uh, right now they there's a theme, and then that theme is uh, expanded on you know cleaning the roads, everything that you would put into a theme like you know the log homes has a very rustic feel. Um, right. So putting uh, a Victorian next to a log home 
Yeah, it, it might more have to be like, let's say we choose Victorians, and then we choose variations of that in which the the outer parts, like the roads, um, would fit in. You know, just like in real life, you have one house and another house, but you wouldn't have a you know a log home or a cabin right. in I the mean, same log home neighborhood. Was probably the wrong one, but but oh, like, it's okay. like for like, I sort of mean. So you could sort of have that could the, happen. Yeah, I the, could see the, that. The idea of that, because then somebody could have a two hundred four eight parcel, but have a Victorian home on it. So then they could flesh that out a little bit differently and, and it could make for a really interesting community yet again. Like it would be interesting to do it with just like a test region where people would be interested in being beta testers in living that kind of um, trial system. It would be kind of fun. Yeah, that could be something that uh, we continue the conversation in April because I think we have run out of time, Sassy. <laughs> but thank you for bringing all of your imagination and your questions. We definitely look forward to seeing you and everyone else in April. Yeah, that would be out of out of any knowledge I would have. That would definitely be governance. Unfortunately, I don't know anything yeah. on it. And we would have to just uh, direct you to our terms of service uh, if you want to know if that's something that we couldn't we couldn't give a yes or no answer here. Yeah, um, I've got to head out. Um, I know Vix needs to get back to it as well. Uh, thanks everyone for coming. Uh, we greatly appreciate you being here, and we'll see you at the April meeting. Have a great day, everyone. Take care, all.